one thing I hate about the motherfucking city. Is that people will park like that. You know, I mean, they're allowed to, but it always catches me off guard. I'm like, fuck. right turns but my front blinker ain't working 600 feet, turn right. now this is the place that I went to the first time I was here if I remember turn right then you will arrive at your destination yeah you gotta go in the other side it says see it says turn right there but that's exit only yeah here here's where you go and this is what I was talking about, right? See, so this says, what does that say? You have arrived. All right, shut the fuck up. All right, so I remember why when I came here originally, I didn't want to come here because there's parking in the back. Like I can't see out there though, but it says paid parking. And then that garage on the side of it says it's paid. But I looked at something on the reviews that said on that parking garage above the third floor is free parking. And when I went up there, I didn't see anything about permit only or being towed or whatever. So I just really only have that to go by. But as a result of that, what's this person doing? As a result of that, I don't know what they're standing out here for. As a result of that, I'm not going to be here for very long. And I'm trying to see what their password is for the Wi Fi. But I'm not even going to change my clothes. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to just rush straight into the bench. As soon as I get done with that, I'm out. And then, you know, depending on what happens, you know, I'll try coming back another time. But if I'm next time, if this goes okay, I'm just going to go to the farther one because I just, this bullshit of it says it's free, but it might not be free. You don't fucking know, right? And it's like, hold on. And the thing that I'm worried about is, see what I mean? Like, what's this dude doing sitting out here looking straight at me? I don't see where they got a Wi-Fi thing. Oh, and I forgot my fucking uh, tripod, of course, but Whatever, I'll just prop it up. I'm just letting it record continuously and I'm not wasting my fucking time with music tonight.
Now at this point, I'd say I'm pretty well past the staying flat, flat back part. So I'm letting myself thoracically extend it, you know, while I'm bitching. At some point, I'll deload, and then I'll come back and I'll try to, you know, basically continue flat back. And so it's like deloading, but it's like building up at the same time. Does that make sense? Just to be able to extend the numbers. And that's all she wrote for today. I'm gonna have to run to my fucking car real quick, make sure it ain't gone or booted. And uh, I don't know. I think next time I might go that other one because it's a lot further, but I don't want to deal with tenuous parking. Yeah, it's one of the things about traveling. You never really know what the parking situation is like till you get there. I actually might be able to edit this one on the phone. So I might not need the computer this time. I guess it's also cardio. most cardio I've done in a while. All right. This is a way to carry. All right, doing strongman training. All right, so, hold on. Anyway, now see back here, if you'll notice on the left where that white car is, when I was here in 2019, that's where I would stay or uh, park because my room, uh, if you if you see those two those two windows right there, I'm pretty sure on the second floor there, I'm pretty sure that was my room. I don't remember exactly, but I think it was I'm pretty sure. Or well. It was either one or the one directly to the right of it that directly overlooks the pool, but I don't think you could see that on the camera. All right, well, at least I made it out of there in one piece. 